Hi guys, it's Bria and welcome back to my channel, Tales of Tales. So I just moved into a new apartment and of course that means all of the decoration inspo and you know you just want to redo your whole life and just get your life together and that's the kind of vibe that i'm currently on so as you see by the title today i'm doing a bookshelf organization slash bookshelf decorating video of different ways where you can decorate your bookshelves so there's the aesthetic way to do it you know where all the books are faced outwards and you can't see any of the titles very cute very matches my vibe and the tones you know which we're always here for but it's not functional for me because then you can, I don't know where the books are <laughs> and when people come over you know I want to flex that I'm a reader okay and so people can look at the titles that I'm reading um but at the same time I don't want to do like a rainbow theme um again looks good for the vibe looks good for the aesthetic but it's like all the books could be in different places like a series could not be sitting together because they're different colors and that just it doesn't work for me so what I'm going to try to do is figure out how to make it aesthetically pleasing while also making it functional for me. I've been talking long enough, so let me show you the bookshelves that I currently have and the space that I'm working with, and then we'll get into building the bookshelves and laying everything out. So these are the two bookshelves I currently have in my living room. I actually have a third one already built to go right here. It's just in my bedroom because it's holding up my TV in my room, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, so they're not very big, but I'm thinking that maybe some of it can, some books can live on top of the shelf as well to maybe start hiding the cord um, for my TV. Also, side note, if you guys don't watch Cold Justice, you should. If you're a true crime fan, it's great. And then here is the one bookshelf that I already have built to go out in the living room or it can stay in here. I bought two of the exact same bookshelves. Um, so another one can sit in here and then again, the other one in the living room. There are some book boxes that I still need to do stuff with. Um, and then here's my book cart, which is just currently a hodgepodge of things going on. Yeah, let's um, put these bookshelves together. Okay, so we got the bookshelves all set up. Um, I did one on camera and I did the other one off camera because who wants to see me struggle twice? <laughs> um, but so the next step for this is going to be putting all of my unread books into my Excel file. Um, this just helps keep me organized of like what books I have, what books I haven't read that I own. Um, and then also eventually I like want to have some type of library that people can come check books out for me or borrow books for me or even when people ask for recommendations um, I just want to have like a list of things that I already own as well as like just some notes about the book so I have not been doing a good job of updating this um, so I definitely have some work to do on it but just to kind of give you guys an overview of everything that's on the Excel spreadsheet I will put up here just like a quick like screen grab of what I'm looking at if I can figure out how to screen record I just have it broken out into genre title last name of the author first name of the author if I've read it or if I haven't read it if it's an author of color um, what the spine color is so I have the spine color because I was considering at one point organizing my bookshelves by like the rainbow bookshelves that I talked about before um, but I decided not to do it but I was like there might come a time in the future where I like really want that vibe and I don't think it's right now still <laughs> 
but I just keep track of it now. That way, when it goes to take all my books out and put them on the shelf, I have everything imaginable already organized in here and I can kind of know where each book goes on the shelf. Um, so then I have if it's signed or not. That's again just for like a personal reference. I love um, when I have signed editions of books. And so then I have if it's gifted. Um, that just means like if it's gifted by a publisher. And I have if it's a part of a series or not. And then if there is additional representation within the book. So whether there's like mental health representation, queer representation, um, anything like that. Again, just so if someone asks me for a recommendation later on, um, I gotta have like a list or like a directory of things that I can pull from. Again, haven't been doing a good job of actually keeping up with it because I created this when I moved into my last apartment, which was clearly a year ago, and I haven't touched it since. So I have a lot of work to do on all the books that need to be input into here because I'm pretty sure that I have an additional like probably at least 40 books that need to go in here. So that's what I'm going to work on next. This is a bookshelf organization uh, video. So this is how I organize. It's kind of chaotic. I'm learning that as I'm filming, but here we are. Um, and thank you for keeping up on the ride. <laughs>put my books in my bookshelf <laughs> um but i want to try to get it done before tomorrow at least so i can get some like the books out of my laundry closet which is where they currently are um they're sitting in some suitcases so i'm gonna start taking them out and arranging them um Come to the conclusion that what I'm going to do is just start putting the books out in the way that I think I would want them organized and then I'll go back and actually <laughs> organize them um, after this weekend to determine like how I want them to sit like forever. I really just spent five minutes making no decisions. <laughs> this is my life so let's do it. <laughs>
um, books that publishers have sent me that I just need to like photograph or just mention in a story or something. Um, but I actually do want to read all of those pretty soon as well. So that's where I'm at currently. So I have my bookshelf set up, but I'm just like not feeling satisfied with how it currently is. So I'm going to think about it some more, maybe doing, maybe do some more like rearranging, do a little shuffling and see how I feel. And I'll let you guys know. It's clear from this video how indecisive I am. And I'm so sorry if it's triggering anybody. <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay. Self-growth. Hi, so you remember when I was like, I'm not gonna do books coordinated by color. Look at me freaking now. I did it by color. Is it done well? Absolutely not. But I actually prefer that it's like, kind of like a hodgepodge of just like a general shift in color. So like dark, like black and blue to like a light blue kind of going into aqua greens, yellow golds, red oranges, red maroons, white, browns, and then just like stuff that didn't really fit anywhere else. So like down here in this shelf, like especially it's a lot of things that are more like rainbow based where I just felt like they might stick out if they were anywhere else. So I just put them there. Now what's left is to actually just like decorate the shelves and make sure that they're feeling aesthetic, you know? Like I said, I like the way that this is kind of looking right now. And I know some of you guys are really hating me for that shelf down there, but it is what it is and they're my bookshelves, okay? journey I learned a lot about myself and my indecision uh, with this whole experience but I definitely needed it um, as you can see the bookshelves have already kind of changed and I think I already have an idea of how I want to organize them next time but when I say next time it's gonna be a minute <laughs> but I really thank you guys for staying this far in the video if you're watching this um, I really hope you guys had a good time and I'll see you guys next time bye